Ladies and gentlemen, that's Shaka Khan and Day to the Law to the Soul. Day Law Soul. And they just want to tell y'all it's all good. That's the truth. Hey, pay attention, y'all. And that's the truth. Hey, if things ain't going like you think it should, that's on you. Thank you, Shaka. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I just want to let you guys know, there are a lot of you out there that don't understand. You're thinking I can walk on water. See that water right there? Well, I can walk on water. In the south. Okay? So I am fully capable of walking on water. But I'm not going to walk on water. I tell you, I say, hey, they can't do this, they can't do that. I say, here's the proof. And then you make it seem like it's my fault. When you bring it to their attention and they don't listen to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have faults. San Andreas is less than 50 miles away from my home. That's right. I have faults. And when I say less than 50 miles away from my home in San Andreas, I ain't lying to you. Okay? Less than 50 miles away? Technically, it's less than 20 miles away, people. I can see the crack in the earth's surface. I can see where it's separated. I can see the cavern. So I have the law. And guess what you don't do? When you were a child and somebody tried to take something from you, you didn't allow that. No, no, hold on now. You went and you told mama. You went and you told your brother, your sister, your father. You told somebody because you weren't just going to sit up there and let somebody just take something from you and get away with it. You spoke up. You said no from the time you were two years old until the time you were a teenager when they told you you couldn't do that anymore. When they told you that you could not complain, when they told you you're going to take it and you're going to like it, and you're going to shut up. And you started being quiet. Well, go back to being that child. Start complaining, people. Stop letting them do this to you. Okay? Y'all need to pay attention. Now, I didn't show you the Federal Reserve Act. I didn't show you what you need to say. I created documents for you guys to go in the court. But you want me to come in there and stand and argue for you. That ain't gonna happen, people. That ain't my job. I didn't volunteer for that. And that's the truth. Thank you, Sharka. Because you know what I'm saying? It ain't all good. Now, you know that Sharka take this one out because I have something I want to show y'all. Thank you, Shaka. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Shaka Khan. We were about to play Adele, but Adele, we ain't going to play you right now. You're going to have to hold on because I got to talk to these people because I got something I need to show them. I'm going to give you all an argument. I want you all to pay attention to what I'm about to do. It's an argument for y'all to go into these courts, those of you who are facing foreclosure, repossession, or your student loan. Y'all need to start letting them know. Stop just writing these pieces of paper saying, my signature gave it some juice. Your signature ain't got no juice to it. Stop believing that bull crap. Go back and read the stupid act and understand the law. I just talked to another 18 year, 18, 80 year old man who's been doing this law thing before many of you were even born, who has proven 
what he's capable of. We had a two and a half hour conversation earlier today, me, he, and Chris Unseen. And we were talking about these laws. We didn't talk about what I'm about to show you because I'm putting together the lawsuit for the homeowners, our people, the ones who are part of our program. I'm putting together their lawsuit for them to utilize to protect their property to fall in their states to fall in the courts and there is one statement that i am putting in here that i'm going to give to the rest of you ladies and gentlemen if they deny you the right of having your promissory note recognized as collateral and security for the loan if they ignore you at that very moment you tell the court thank you for justifying and proving that the Federal Reserve, no, a Federal Reserve Act is unconstitutional and it is not law. Remember, the courts, are, they have to follow the law. So the minute they tell you that you haven't paid and that your promissory note was bull, then you can say thank you for proving that the Federal Reserve Act is illegal. I couldn't have done it without you, Your Honor. What are you talking about? Well, I just showed you the law. It says the promissory note is collateral and security. It says it word for word. But you just said, no, it's not. So thank you for saying it's unconstitutional. I just need your final ruling. So that I can say that the contract was invalid from the start. They don't get nothing. Thank you, Your Honor. Go back and listen to what I just said, people. And I'm going to play it for you because that's the argument here. One second. You guys will get a copy of the whole conversation. I'll put the link in. I didn't put it in the other day for the last one because I got so much going on. But I told him to get him just to answer the question without giving me that soliloquy stuff. I just told him I needed him to put together a letter. Okay, if I told him I needed him to put together a complaint, he would have done something altogether different. Yeah, I don't like this right here. This ain't good enough. Uh, it's, it's too, it's too simple. I need complication. So we're going to go right here. See this right here? Modify my response. We're going to make it longer. Okay. Cause that's what we can do with Bard. Can't do it with chat GPT. Chat GPT is a piece of, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now watch what I do. I want y'all to pay attention because many of y'all are telling me y'all don't know how to use ChatGPT because it don't unbarred because they don't give y'all the answers it gives me. Well, watch this. I'm giving you guys the conversations. You see the prompt that I'm putting in. All you got to do is when you get the conversation, copy the stupid prompt, people, and then reword it. I'm telling you how to talk to the stupid thing. Hold on now. I'm sorry, comma, where are the six case citations supporting the conclusions here? Question mark. You are supposed to give me six case citations for every point being made, and you did not provide that. Comma, I'm very disappointed. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Now, y'all hold on now. Let's see what he's going to do. Now, he, he probably won't give it to me at first because I asked for six. Whew. But let's see. Uh-oh. Look at there. He done did it, y'all. He done did it. Now, watch this. These are just a few examples of legal professionals that can provide more comprehensive. See, he didn't. He only see that right there, breach of contract. Ooh -wee. Wake up. That's not what I asked you for. Comma, please provide what I asked you for and incorporate it into the letter for judicial misconduct. Stop listening. Because it ain't all good, y'all. And that's the truth. Now, 
Let's see where the case law. Oh, look at that. He done put it. Oh, he done gave me three of them. Oh, look, he gave me three more. Oh, Lord, he gave me three more. Oh, look at that. He done went and did what I asked him to do. Man, it's amazing. Y'all are saying, well, he won't do that for me. Because I'm telling you how to talk to it. Well, I don't have to talk about software like you have. Well, I can't get it to do that. I tried. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There are tons of voice recognition. Pay attention. Voice recognition softwares out there. But I want y'all to see something. Hold on now. You see this right here? Use microphone. It comes with the program. Lord have mercy. Sorry. Uh, I can't hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I, I can't hold your hand, people. It's not my job. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. He gave me my case law. This is a judicial misconduct complaint. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't like this one because it ain't long enough. I want it longer. Now, you guys, you can do your own judicial misconduct. I don't like judicial misconducts. But I'm going to suggest that you file a judicial misconduct complaint. The reason why I'm going to suggest that you file a judicial misconduct complaint against the judge, you're going to get them for failing to recognize the Federal Reserve Act. And by their act and or inactions and or actions, they documented that the Federal Reserve Act is not law. But the Supreme Court said that it was a constitutional act. So by the court saying that you're promissory note was not collateral and security, it was ignoring the Supreme Court, start assistance. And because it was ignoring the Supreme Court, it declared by its ruling that the Federal Reserve Act is unconstitutional, that it is not law, and that the promissory note, as indicated in the Federal Reserve Act, is not law. And because it is not law, <sighs> hey, the contract is invalid, which was based on the Federal Reserve Act. Ladies and gentlemen, if your promissory note was based on the Federal Reserve Act and the court has held that that piece of junk called the promissory note doesn't operate as collateral and security and that you still owe money, then they have just declared the promissory note to be invalid. Pay attention. Some of you guys are going to get what I'm saying. Some of you, oh, man, wait a minute. Hold on. If the court rules against me, and says that I got to get out because the promissory note wasn't collateral and security, then it agreed that the promissory note is invalid and they cannot be relied upon. And thus the court cannot make a ruling against me because it just said the contract is no good. Thank you, for Your Honor, for saying the contract is no good. And then you appeal it based on that decision right there. And you ask for a stay for the appeals court determination. Now, hold on now. They can't tell you that, oh, no, no, that's not what we were saying. We were saying that you still owe, and I just told you that the promissory note, according to Congress, is the payment, and the parties agreed to it because they agreed to operate under the Federal Reserve Act. That's why the Federal Reserve Operating Circular number 10 is associated with the closing document. That's why we use the local Federal Reserve agent. We were operating under the Federal Reserve Act. That's the governing law, and you just said that that law is unconstitutional because you said that it doesn't matter what Congress said. It only matters what you say. So thank you for saying that Congress does not have the authority to say that my promissory note is lawful tender to the local Federal Reserve agent as stipulated in Section 16, Paragraph Number 2. I appreciate that. Come on. When they rule against you, they're saying that the Constitution is doesn't make any sense, and they're saying the Federal Reserve Act is not the law. So thank you for saying that the promissory note, which is based on those two things, your promissory note is based on the Constitution and the Federal Reserve Act. The whole process based on Constitution and the Federal Reserve Act. So when they tell you that your promissory note is not collateral and security for the loan, what they are telling you is that the promissory note is invalid on its face and that it is not a binding agreement. Ta-da! Now I got to go. I got to let that sink into y'all. We're going to talk about judges. This is the empowerment series. We're going to talk about judges again in the next video. This is now video number seven. Speak to you all in a second. Arriba, Dirty. Adios. Hey, y'all know what?
we we got to bring y'all back to there you go you see what i said there you go that is they my soul okay gotta go